residence go back into Hurricane Hit Galveston. Ten days after Hurricane Ike, this devastated beach town has reopened to residents with stern warnings about what still lurks on the island, rotting cattle, snakes and swarms of mosquitoes, and what isn't there, drinking water, reliable elec electricity, medical care, or sewer service. And after spending hours and hours in traffic that backed up for at least 10 miles, some residents found their homes in total ruins. I wasn't prepared for this, said one taxi driver, as she waved away mosquitoes and surveyed the remains of her ruined apartment, which had its entrance blocked by collapsed walls, wrecked furniture, and rotting clothing. City officials had hoped most of the 45,000 residents who fled before the storm would stay away until more repairs could be made. We certainly didn't promise paradise when you came back here. We've got a whole lot of work to do. You've got a lot of work to do, the city manager said. Limited water. The city has very limited drinking water. Few working sewers. Limited electricity and very minimal medical faculties. Officials have extended the disaster declaration for another 90 days and they're going to Washington to try to get a 2.5 billion dollar amount of money. That's just a minimum. They're going to need a lot more than that. What Galveston does have is ripening in the tropical heat rotting food and piles of debris where houses once stood, millions and millions of mosquitoes and an abundance of snakes. The carcasses of cattle that drowned during the storm are too badly decomposed to be moved. They'll just stay in the fields or rot away in the fields just outside the city limits. And people have been warned not to return without tetanus shots or rat bait. Shelters are on the way. The city has opened a shelter for 100 newly homeless residents and officials hope to set up even more shelters on the mainland for residents whose homes are completely destroyed. The city and supposedly what's left of FEMA are considering a plan to allow residents to live in FEMA trailers in their driveways or near their houses during repairs. don't know about that idea but they would want all trailers removed on the island before the start of the 2009 hurricane season well you know there's probably going to still be some trailers there where are the people going to go then are they going to have to evacuate again just because they can't have any trailers well they certainly can't have those there but progress was slow going the island's three electrical inspectors and two plumbing inspectors were ordered to inspect every flooded property before allowing residents to turn on the gas or flip an electrical switch. And the city of Galveston is asking other cities to send more inspectors. There remains very significant health and safety concerns on the island the city manager said. More hotels in Galveston are reopening and will be available for residents who return and determine that their homes are ruined. But those rooms will most likely be quickly snapped up. So city officials are working on a plan to provide temporary shelters on the mainland for those who find homes they can't live in. But again, the city manager stressed the shelters would be available only for a short time, supposedly, theoretically. In other words, it's going to take a long time, a lot of money, to clean up the city of Galveston. 
In fact, a lot of those cities along the coast, Texas coast, have probably been badly damaged, haven't they? It's going to take a long time. In some ways, this seems to be worse than Katrina. And where is FEMA? FEMA's basically just a no-show. They've been gutted after Hurricane Katrina. City leaders also are supposedly looking looking at setting up a shuttle service to take residents from the temporary shelters to their houses during the day so they can make repairs and clean up. While electricity and natural gas are being restored in Galveston, those services in each home will have to be inspect, inspected by the city before being allowed to be turned on again. But, but Galveston is very slowly coming back to life with some stores and restaurants reopening while there are other signs throughout southeast Texas of a very slow, painful recovery. On Tuesday, Galveston Mayor, the Galveston Mayor and other city leaders were in Washington, D.C. to ask lawmakers for nearly $2.5 billion in emergency funds and they're going to need more than that. That's just the start. Look and leave policy has been halted. The city tried before to allow residents back. It announced September 16th that people could briefly return under a look and leave plan, but that didn't work, causing evacuees all over the state to pack up and head for the coast. But hours later, it abruptly halted the policy. Anyway, Galveston leaders remain optimistic their city might someday be built back after Hurricane Ike. This is our island, one resident said. We're going to rebuild it, and we're going to rebuild it bigger and better than it was. Well, maybe. And it's going to take a long time. And then there'll be another hurricane. There's always been hurricanes in that area. Gulf of Mexico and somehow the hurricanes are getting bigger they're getting bigger than ever Hurricane Ike was anywhere from five to six hundred miles wide it tore up almost the whole Texas coast plus some of Louisiana and Mississippi actually it affected a bunch of states about nine or so and there's something more to this um, how are they gonna rebuild back when the credit markets are freezing freezing up when the economy is dropping going into recession and perhaps even a, a depression how are they gonna build back when we're in a depression it doesn't look good no this does not look good um, and like I say where's FEMA it seems to be a no-show just like before anyway there's something going on with the weather there's something going with the going on with the economic policies of the United States of the whole world there's something going on with the petroleum or the oil there's something going on with global global warming climate change which is speeding up exponentially and everything is connected these things no they're not happening well they are happening separately but some kind in some kind of way they have a connection to each other and America is in trouble its economy society politics politics yeah all that and more anyway these are more signs than times transition days and there are many signs <laughs>